Aristotle's views on family and women. Aristotle considered family to be a natural association of which man became a member from birth. Aristotle believed that it is in a family he is nurtured, gets his identity, his name, attains intellectual development and also lessons on qualities such as cooperation, love, tolerance and sacrifice. It is not merely a primary association but is a necessary unit of society. Aristotle believed that family fostered love, friendship, ensured stability and provided a ground to cultivate moral and civic virtues among the young. So Aristotle was critical about Socrates and Plato's idea of communism which stood for abolishing the family. Aristotle thus viewed the family as the very unit which makes up ultimately the state from man to family, families to village, from villages to the state. Thus, it was clear that for Aristotle, the private sphere was the foundation on which the public was organized. Aristotle regarded the world as hierarchically structured where the strong rule the weak. Similarly, the male being superior and stronger ruled over the women. He described women as an infertile male, a defective, incomplete male. Therefore, male was the active partner and the female was a passive partner. Though husband and wife were interdependent, but they were not equal because the husband had superior values and so was a dominant partner. He therefore exercised control over the household in three ways. As a husband over his wife, as a father over his children and as a master over his slaves. However, the woman was not a slave but a free being, a complement to the man. Aristotle was also clear that family and women cannot be ignored because then society will be unstable and vulnerable. To prevent instability and to achieve unity, it is essential for different parts of the society to work in harmony. Therefore, Aristotle believed that family should exist, otherwise it will stifle the city and lead to its extinction. Aristotle was critical of the Spartan model which gave unrestricted freedom to its women, making them self-indulgent, who led a luxurious life, who did not sub submit to authority and pursued private interests rather than common good, thus bringing divisiveness and disunity. Euripides assumed that women should be clever and manly, but Aristotle was critical of his views and regarded it as an inappropriate statement. Aristotle held the view that a woman spent her youth and time in bearing and rearing children and therefore had no leisure time 
like a man. Therefore, she lacked deliberative capabilities and could not engage in logical and intellectual discourse. Aristotle did not advocate sexual equality but recognized women's distinct position as a wife, mother and householder. Thus, a woman preserved and stabilized the family, reared and educated the young ones. He was equally aware that if women's happiness was ignored, then society would be unstable and vulnerable. Therefore, he emphasized the need to make women a part of the city and the educational process, but wanted them out of the political process. <laughs>